Welcome back to my C Sharp tutorial series. I'm Goss, and today we're going to cover data type conversion. In C Sharp, there are three ways to convert one data type to another data type. There is implicit conversion, explicit conversion, and then there's the, the built in conversion methods. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and click on the bell. In this example, we are converting an integer to a float. Since the float is a larger numeric data type, we can implicitly convert from one to the other. If I run this code, we should get two thirties. And there you have it, two thirties. In this example, we are trying to convert a float to an integer. Since an integer cannot hold the precision of a float, it can't hold the, the decimal places, and it's smaller in general, can't hold as much data as a float, we get an error. And the error is cannot implicitly convert type float to int. An explicit conversion exists. Are you missing a cast? Now what that means is we need to cast our float as an integer when we use it as an int. In order to do that, we simply need to add int in brackets in front of my float. Now when I run this, we should get a 30.5 and a 30. And here we are, 30.5 for our float and 30 for our integer. In this example, we're trying to convert an integer to a string. However, we get an error, cannot implicitly convert type int to string. In order to fix this, we must add dot to string at the end of my int. This is because a string it uses basically a sequential line of characters and 30 is not a character, it is an integer. So it can't convert one to the other. So when we use that to string, we're using a built-in method that does that for us, similar to a helper class that we could make for ourselves. Now, when I run this, we should get two 30s. And here we go, we have our 30 as an int, and we have our 30 as a string. Now, when we try to convert a string, 30, to an int, we get an error, cannot implicitly convert type string to int. And this is because, again, a string is a sequential line of characters and an int requires integers. So we could try casting. You can't cast characters as an integer. In order to get this to work, what we need to do is we need to use parse or try parse. int.parse, basically what we're telling the computer to do is like, hey, what we want is an integer, and the data that's going in is a string. And then when we run this, we should get two 30s. And here we are, our 30 string and our 30 is an int. So when we try to use letters, we don't get an error before we run, but if we run this, we get an error that says input string was not in the correct format. That's because the input string is characters not numbers so i have for this uh, tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell also don't forget to check out my other tutorials if you have any suggestions or feedback please let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching and have a good one